So there's a lot to digest in the Nintendo Switch 2 Direct, and I wanted to highlight something that actually stood out to me straight away, which uh, I think fell below the radar quite quickly, and I think it might have been deliberate on Nintendo's part, and that is the wheelchair basketball game Dragon Drive. Now, the basic idea of this game is that you're using the new mouse functions on both Joy-Cons at the same time to use uh, to control the wheels on your wheelchair and turn and such like that and the reason why this stood out to me is really the fact that it is using two mice at the same time i was trying to figure out how to highlight why this is actually a big deal to me and um quite possibly to game developers more so than game players until i saw this interview from nintendo life with Nate Bildorf, who uh, used to be a presenter on Nintendo Treehouse uh, back when Iwata was still alive, but now he's moved to upper management, and he says this, quote, But it made me start thinking, are there dual mouse games out there? It's not like this is something that would have been impossible to do on PC, and I have no idea whether or not there's already this subgenre, or whether it's brand new. This is really the crux of it, and, and I think people don't I wonder how many people actually know of this, but the answer to this question, are there dual mouse games out there, is no. Not at all. And not only that, but it is actually impossible to do on PC. Um, as a general thumb, Windows uh, only support, supports one mouse cursor on the screen at any given time, and it is an inherent part. And it is, it's, it's an inherent part of their mouse drivers. Uh, there are third-party drivers that experiment with having multiple cursors, and perhaps there are some um, programs or experimental student games. But for the most part, this type of game doesn't exist, and has never existed. And I'm fairly confident enough to say that firmly because I've I study input uh, in, in video games and it's, it's one of my strong hobbies and I've been lucky enough to actually play with a lot of them uh, I've played with dimmer dials I've played with phone uh, touch tone pads I've played with TV remotes calculators um, and you know of course the Wii remote and controller and it was only really recently that we've fallen into this standard set of either a keyboard and mouse for PC and the Xbox 360 layout uh, of controller, um, especially because of the X input uh, standard on uh, Windows. And even then, the idea of using a mouse with a controller at the same time was already a big deal for me. The idea of using two mice, two mice at the same time, that didn't register to me at all. And the idea of just there being one in the left Joy-Con. And I think having Nintendo skip over this pretty quickly in the direct was probably a wise idea because the Nintendo Wii that did have multiple mice technically, but it was only one per player. There were multiple on the screen. But the Wii overall was a gimmick. And I think gimmick is too strong of a word. You might get the wrong idea, but the general idea is that it did pass and video games eventually moved on to having more standard controls and even nintendo adopted that but even then they're still experimenting nintendo is still experimenting with inputs and trying to mix inputs in unique ways and i think with all of this stuff on a nintendo switch where a controller style input a mouse style input and even touchscreen input and gyro input are all in here i think that's a big deal and um they're kind of, this time around, Nintendo is just quietly and humbly introducing it um, to, uh, to consumers and the public without putting much emphasis on it. But it's one of the, it is one of those things that stuck out at me. And uh, yeah. <laughs>